I just found out that Google Cloud quietly teamed up with Cardano, and it was almost under the radar. Now, the news was so big that it literally drove me to turn 20 phones on my desk into mini Cardano experiments. Sounds crazy, but stick around, because by the end, it's all going to make sense. Okay, let me set the stage. Now, I'm a long-time Cardano fan. For years, I've listened to critics say that Cardano is just all hype, and that there's no action. But now, I might actually have something that will silence all of those critics. Because not only is Google Cloud stepping in to help, I'm actually personally knee-deep in a wild Cardano experiment that I never actually imagined doing. And trust me here, both developments have more, me, at least me, more excited than a kid in a candy store. So stick around here because this journey goes from big tech boardrooms to a bunch of buzzing phones on my desk and it might just change how you see crypto. Okay, so here's what happened. The other day I opened up X and I saw Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, posting something pretty major. Cardano's Midnight Foundation just partnered with Google Cloud. Google Cloud working with Cardano, and yes, that is real. Now, Charles literally said that he's proud to be working with Google on this, calling them a wonderful company that adds a whole ton of value to our ecosystem. Now, what exactly is Midnight Thing all about then, and why does Google care about it? Well, here's a little quick backstory for anyone who doesn't know. Midnight is a new privacy-focused sidechain in the Cardano ecosystem. Think of it like Cardano's stealthy little brother, right? It's built to let you keep data secret on a blockchain and only reveal it when absolutely necessary, using some zero-knowledge proof magic under the hood. Now, let's face it, as cool as public blockchains are, not every company or government wants to broadcast sensitive information to the world. Now, imagine trying to run a bank on a fully public ledger. Every transaction and customer detail would just be out in the open. No bank would ever touch that. Or a hospital putting patient records on a public blockchain. No, that's not going to happen. That's a privacy nightmare. Now, that's where Midnight comes in. Now, the announcement basically said that this partnership is about tackling that exact problem. It was going to accelerate the use of zero-knowledge proofs, that's ZKP, right, tech, and build a privacy-first infrastructure for the next gen of digital systems. In plain English, Midnight will help organizations safeguard sensitive data on a blockchain while staying compliant with regulations. For instance, Financial institutions are going to could use Midnight for private, regulated, for at least regulation-friendly transactions and cross-border payments. Governments might issue, God forbid, digital identities and digital IDs. I mean, anyone's paying attention to the UK right now. We'll see how that plays out. But anyway, governments could issue and might issue digital IDs via Midnight without exposing personal information. And healthcare providers could share medical research data without compromising patient privacy. Now, it's all about sensitive disclosure, sharing only what you need to share and nothing more. Now, here is the kicker. Google Cloud isn't just casually interested. They're going to be a kind of core part of Midnight's network. Now, according to the announcement, Google Cloud will help manage the core infrastructure of the Midnight network, even becoming a validator on it. Let's think about that then. One of the biggest tech companies in the entire world might soon be validating blocks on a Cardano-related blockchain. Google is also providing this thing called confidential computing, which basically means even the cloud itself can't peek at the sensitive data being processed. And they're not stopping there. Google's cybersecurity team, you might have heard of, you know, Mandariant, you know, will actually be on the deck to monitor the threats and handle any of the incidents. So Midnight gets to leverage Google's infrastructure and security muscle which is absolutely massive. Now, seeing Google Cloud step up like this 
is huge. It's not every day that a tech giant volunteers to directly support a crypto project at this kind of level. So that's like having an NBA star show up at your neighborhood pickup game because they think that you've got something special going on. It really validates, no pun intended, Cardano's approach in a big way. And I wasn't the only one excited about this. Charles Hoskinson was over the moon. He posted about being proud to work with Google, basically saying that Google is a great company bringing tons of value to Cardano. Coming from Charles, who doesn't exactly hand out participation trophies, that's a big stamp of approval. And this whole Google partnership isn't happening in isolation. Midnight's foundation has been teaming up with other projects to boost development for a while now. Early partners include Web3 game developers, you know, uh, and even an enterprise data platform named Maestro. So Google Cloud is kind of like the cherry on top of a growing list of collaborators. It's giving this project some serious credibility right as it heads towards its launch. And speaking of launch, timing is everything. Midnight is preparing for its main net launch later this year. And guess what? The hype train has already left the station in the form of an airdrop event. They've been running something called the Glacier Drop, where ineligible users can claim the Midnight token, which is, uh, you know, aptly named Knight, right? Over 1.6 billion Knight tokens have already been claimed, and the claim portal closes on October 4th at 1 p.m. UTC, which is literally just a day away. After that, there's a second phase called the Scavenger Mine, where people can earn a whole chunk of the unclaimed Knight tokens by completing some computational tasks. Now, that phase will run for 30 days, and then there's even a lost and found round later on for anyone who missed out on the initial claim. So yeah, right, they are really making sure that the community gets involved from the get-go. By this point, I'm sitting at my desk practically buzzing with excitement. Google Cloud backing Cardano's privacy chain, tokens flying off at the virtual shelves, mainnet is on the horizon. That is an awful lot to take in. Now, before I go any further, especially as I kind of start talking about what I decided to do with my own ADA, let me just say this. This might just shock you, but I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile and you could lose all of the money that you invest. You should always do your own research and consult a qualified professional. After all, your investments are entirely your responsibility and you should know that nothing is ever guaranteed when it comes to investing. Neither I, this channel, nor YouTube are liable for any losses and this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, so I won't lie. After hearing about this Google partnership, a part of me wanted to FOMO into more ADA right there and then. I actually opened up my Blowfin Exchange app to check ADA's price, and yep, shameless plug, I do have an affiliate link in the description for Blowfin, which does support the channel here. Anyway, I was this close to kind of making a buy, at least buying a whole bunch more, I should say, of ADA, because my brain was screaming, Google's in, let's go. But, I took a deep breath and I reminded myself not to impulse move, right? At least make any impulse moves. Instead, I looked over at the 10 smartphones spread on my desk and remembered, oh yeah, I'm already doing something pretty crazy with Cardano. So let's talk about those phones then that are going to be over here in just a few weeks. Now, this is a wild Cardano experiment that I hinted at. I bought something called a Unity node. Yes, I actually spent a pretty hefty chunk of my spare stables to purchase a Unity node license. Now, I could, of course, I say Unity node NFT with 200 licenses, I should say. Now, I could have, you know, spent my ADA, but I had some stables that I decided to use instead. Now, they aren't cheap, by the way, right? We are talking a few thousand dollars of, you know, stable coins or ADA, you know, depending if you want to part ways with the Cardano's ADA. But, you know, I was actually really curious about this. In fact, I had to 
I had to top up, you know, um, my stablecoin stash from cold storage just to be able to do this little experiment. And I did use BitGet to do some of that. That's another shameless plug, of course. The affiliate link for BitGet is, of course, down in the description. And using it does support the channel. Anyway, once I had enough stablecoins, I did pull the trigger and buy myself a Unity Node NFT, which came with 200 licenses. So, confused? So you might be thinking, what on earth and what, on he what the heck is a Unity node? Well, in simple terms, it lets you turn ordinary smartphones into a part of a decentralized network and earn crypto for doing it, including Cardano's ADA as a reward, right? Now, it's part of a broader uh, kind of move by World Mobile's project. You know, the guys who run the decentralized telecommunications and bring internet access to many people in unreached areas. Well, each Unity node, it comes with 200 licenses. So think of them as virtual kind of SIM slots for the Unity app, right? Like a license key that lets you use the Unity app on your phone. And uh, you can run them on your devices, right? Now, Obviously, I do not have just 200 phones lying around, right? I have to uh, get 10 or 20 phones set up over here in the coming weeks. Um, and I'm going to be looking for secondhand Android phones, for example. You know, if someone's got them lying around, maybe on eBay or whatever. And um, I'm going to have them running the Unity Node app. So here's how it works. The Unity app basically has each phone doing network tests, right? The phone dials a special number through the app. Don't worry, it doesn't actually charge you anything. And then they actually start checking the local mobile network for any issues, right? They gather data like, is the signal strong here? Any dropped calls? Any kind of weird network behaviors? And if a phone finds a problem, it automatically gets recorded and it logs it as a proof of that issue on the blockchain, the world mobile chain to be specific. So that every call, uh, every dropped call, I should say, or every dead zone that these phones detect, they get noted and hashed into a blockchain for accountability. Now, this does two rather cool things. One, it gives mobile carriers valuable information about their network issues, like a decentralized army of quality assurance testers spread across the map. In my case, spread across my apartment here. And two, right, we, the people running these Unity nodes and licenses, earn crypto for doing this job. Now, the rewards can actually be withdrawn in selected cryptocurrencies of your choice, including, that's right, Cardano's ADA. So yes, I'm earning ADA by essentially letting some of my phones here scan the network. Now, it feels like sci-fi. My room you know, will eventually look like a data, or at least a mini data center, essentially, right? Honestly, if someone walked in or will be walking in, they'll be thinking, what on earth is going on? Like I'm charging an army of old phones for, well, no reason. Now, I'm not telling everyone to go and run out there and buy a Unity node. This is pretty niche and it might not be your thing. It's kind of experimental at this stage too, but definitely do your own research, right? I am gonna put a link in the description down below to Unity, it's in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. Their rewards per node, hypothetically on their calculator, uh, on the link down in the description, by the way, is around $19,000 a month per node. So they're pretty expensive to buy around $5,000. And theoretically, if you have 200 devices, you could earn up to $19,000. So it's worth doing your own research, crunching the numbers and checking whether or not you can do something like this. Now, I'm just running a small test with 10 to 20 to get started, and then I'm going to scale from there if it does pan out. But that's just what I'm doing. And I obviously am no financial advisor. I can't give you financial advice. I'm just sharing my own experiment that I see and that I am going to be doing here on the channel. But I wanted to kind of share it because it's such a great example of how far the Cardano ecosystem has come. I mean, I'm literally contributing to a network's operation from my own desk, while half uh, away across the world, Cardano is striking deals with a company like Google. And that contrast is what really kind of blows my mind here, right? On one hand, you have a behemoth like Google Cloud validating and supporting Cardano's tech. And on the other hand, you have regular people like me 
connecting a whole bunch of phones and running a node from home, right? Now Cardano is hitting both the high-end uh, kind of enterprise level and the grassroots communities level at the same time via world mobile chain. It's kind of like top-down innovation meets bottom-up innovation. I actually kind of first heard about Unity in our free educational Discord server, link in the description by the way, about a year or so ago. And we have this awesome community that kind of shares tips and all kinds of different projects. Now, if I were this, if it weren't for those guys, I might have missed this opportunity and a whole bunch of other Cardano related discoveries. So here's a big shout out to everyone that's in the Discord. You guys keep me in the loop. All right, picture the scene then. Right, I've got Charles's tweet on my screen, you know, talking about Google Cloud. And right next to it, I've got, you know, 10 phones in my Amazon basket waiting for me to hit that buy button so that I can run this Unity app. Now, that's the moment that I realized that just how special all of this actually is. Cardano isn't just theory or promises on a white paper, is it? It's actually real and it's here right now, you know, ranging from Google Cloud all the way through to World Mobile and Minutes networks, right? Ranging from Silicon Valley titans working on cutting edge privacy technology to a guy like me tinkering with old Android phones, you know, uh, to help decentralized networks grow. I had one of those kind of, this is the future moments, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm not saying that Cardano is going to go to $100 or some crazy high number overnight, but this isn't really about making wild price predictions or anything like that, right? And you heard the disclaimer earlier, right? Nothing here is financial advice. But what I am saying is that for the first time in a long time, it feels like all of the building and all of the patience in the Cardano community is actually truly paying off. We're seeing real adoption and real use cases. We're seeing big partnerships and grassroots innovations all at once. That's a story that I want to keep following and, of course, be a part of. And so if you've made it this far, then I hope you found my little adventure quite insightful or at least entertaining. I try to mix the big news with personal hands-on experiences like this to kind of give you a full picture of what's truly going on. So if you want to learn more about Unity, then check out the link that's in the description down below. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more stories like this, and I will see you all in the next one.